pretty good way to start your season. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for day one, night one, game one? I mean, it feels great, you know, just getting out there, just going for the win. And we still got a lot of, a lot of things to improve. Right. You guys kind of, kind of tired of beating on each other. You're the last team to play a game. Was it, was it exciting to finally just get out and play a game after everybody's already played two or three? Yeah, actually, well, I was counting the days ever since day one of practice. Just counting every day until game day until this very moment. And, okay. You know, we did our job and we got the win. Was this your first extended varsity game? Yeah, this is my actually my first start varsity game. Okay. Yeah. Did you have some butterflies or how'd that uh, go? What was the day like for you? I mean. I was sort of anxious to play, okay. when it, but when it got to game time, I was a little nervous, but then, you know, I just came, first couple minutes it went away, and I just, okay. you know, regular routine. Okay. Is that what happens in a basketball game? You got the butterflies and the ball goes up, and as soon as you get in your routine and, and you start running? Yeah, yeah. Once, like, once, you, once you get into the rhythm, into the routine, mm -hmm. you just zone everything out, and it's just you and the basket pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Had you guys seen Hemfield? They played a couple games here. You knew their record. You knew yeah, we, they were doing pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we, we had we had coaches going to the game, looking looking at them, look how they were playing and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Did you feel like you had a pretty good scouting report coming in? Yeah, we had a yeah we had a great scouting report. Um, report. I mean, coaches they go and you know video record the games and tell us what they do, tell us their offensive schemes, okay. what they're doing offense and defense, and we try to focus on that in practice. Okay. What were some things that uh, you talked about tonight? You knew Johnson was a big scorer. You had to shut him yeah. down. You knew they liked to the jump in. They were aggressive. What kind of what kind of game did you expect? And did you guys play the game you needed to play? I mean, game plan today was just to slow down Johnson. You slow down Johnson. You slow down their offense. Okay. We pretty much just had, you know, our guard Brian Rivera just pretty much no help side, just on Drew Johnson, just pressure him mm -hmm. the whole game. Make sure he don't get the ball. Make sure he limits his touches, and you know it worked. Yeah, I think he got his in the end. Yeah. But in OT and crunch time, yeah. you guys got the jump. Uh, what did you talk about before the OT? Because you guys came out 7-0, 8-0, 9-0, or whatever it was in overtime and really yeah. put your foot down. Yeah. What what would you talk about going into OT? I mean, we you know there was a whole lot of game left to play. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't win we didn't win anything yet, and we felt that we had to prove ourselves to get this win. And you know, we executed our plays. We 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 ran um. You know, press breaker. We we stayed calm, under mm -hmm. control, and mm -hmm. we got the win. You're not six six. I'm looking up at you, but you're not the tallest dude. But man, <laughs> you're you're on the boards. Yeah. Is that your game? You take a lot of pride in just getting mean and get on the boards because that's where you got your, yeah, your, your I mean, job done tonight. I mean, I, I love I love crashing the board. You know, playing physical. Just I'm just down and dirty player, and clean up man, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. The garbage man. I think a yep. nickname is born. Look out. <laughs> Um, and you knew they had big guys, you know, yeah. Mangold's wiry and Manning's tough underneath. Were you up for that challenge? Were you anxious to go up against those bigger guys in your first varsity game, by the way, and battle them and go, and go you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with them? Yeah, I was up to the challenge. I mean, all those, you know, younger days of playing my brother one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one and stuff, you know, it worked out. You know, just, just knowing how they play, just box them out and, just, you know, have an effort and grab the board. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys won the district title last year, but then you lose some guys. And it happens, it's high school, people graduate, and I know Devon left. But you guys don't rebuild here. You just keep going and you keep winning. So do you guys feel like it's your turn, it's your team, keep the tradition going, etc.? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Talk about that. Yeah, we, we, we do feel like that. I mean, you know, we lost Devon, yeah, he was a big part of all things. Yeah. But, you know, it's, just, it's time to just move on mm -hmm. and not just stick to the past. Right. We, we're going to focus on what we have now instead of what we had, you know, a year or two ago. Sure. You know, we just, you know, just work with what we got. And sure. We just... You have no control over that. You can't help that a kid no. transfers or graduates. You have no control yeah. over that. So you guys just got to do the best job you can do. And new year. Yeah. What will this do for momentum? You want to know you beat Hemfield. I mean, you got to be going nuts on the inside. I mean, <laughs> will this is this a good, you know, you know, jump step for what's next? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, this was a, a key game. A lot of people didn't think we were even going to be close mm -hmm. to beating Hemfield, let alone, close to Hemfield, let alone beating them in overtime. So mm -hmm. I, I think we shocked a lot of a lot of uh, people out there. Okay. Want to know sounds better than 0-1. Yes, Want to know yeah. over Hemfield probably feels <laughs> really nice. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yeah.